Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. During Kim Jong-un's visit to the North Korean Academy of Defense Development, the latest advancement in North Korean armored warfare was unveiled, the Kianma-2 tank. Previously known under the pseudonyms M2020 and M2024, the Kianma-2 represents a significant leap in North Korea's tank development capabilities, evolving from a history deeply rooted in Soviet and Chinese influence. Historical Context and Evolution North Korea's tank development has come a long way since the Korean War. Initially, North Korean forces relied heavily on Soviet and Chinese models, such as the T-34 and Type 59. However, the 1970s and 1980s marked a shift towards indigenous tank production with the Kanmaho series, which was based on the Soviet T-62. These tanks saw multiple iterations, with each new version featuring improvements in armor, firepower, and mobility. The 1990s saw further advancement with the introduction of the Sun Gun 915. This model incorporated features from both the Russian T-72 and Chinese Type 88 tanks, showcasing North Korea's growing desire for self-reliance in defense manufacturing while still integrating foreign technologies. 21st Century Developments, From Pakpungho to Kianma, 2. Entering the 21st century, North Korea continued to innovate with the Pakpungho tank, which emerged in the early 2000s. This model included upgrades influenced by the Soviet T-80 and Chinese Type 96 tanks. The lineage of North Korean tanks continued to evolve, leading to the development of the M2020 M2024 models, now officially named Kianma 2. The Kianma 2's journey began in October 2020, when the M2020 was first showcased during a military parade marking the 75th anniversary of the Workers' Party of Korea. Since then, North Korea has accelerated production, with notable enhancements at the Kusong tank plant, effectively doubling its production capacity. The Kianma 2 technical specifications and capabilities. The Kianma-2 stands out with a redesigned turret reminiscent of the American M1A2 Abrams. It features 21 Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, blocks at the front, designed to counteract incoming projectiles. Additionally, it includes six smoke grenade launchers for creating smoke screens, a potential vision device on the left side of the gun, and components that suggest an active protection system, APS, for intercepting threats. The turret is equipped with a launcher for two anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, similar to the tow launcher on the American Bradley. These are believed to be Bolsi, three missiles, akin to the Russian Cornet. ERA components, smoke grenade launchers, and APS units are also present on the sides of the turret. On top, there is meteorological equipment, antennas, observation systems, a commander's panoramic sight, a gunner sight, an episcope, blowout panels, and a storage basket. Mobility and firepower. The Kianma 2 is powered by an engine producing at least 1,200 horsepower, allowing for a maximum speed of 65 km per hour. With an estimated weight of 50 to 55 tons, it boasts modern fire control and communication systems. Its primary armament is a 125mm smoothbore gun, similar to the Soviet 2A46, capable of firing various projectiles and potentially featuring an automatic loading system. Secondary armaments include a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and a 30mm automatic grenade launcher. Design and Protection The hull of the Kianma 2 draws inspiration from the Russian T-14 Armada, featuring 10 ERA blocks on each side, steps for crew access, periscopes for the driver, large engine heat evacuation grills, and a modified exhaust system. The suspension system includes 7 road wheels per side, protected by armor plates and polymer or rubber skirts. Additionally, wire cage armor on the rear of the turret and sides provides extra protection, though the rear of the hull remains unarmored, indicating a potential vulnerability. The unveiling of the Kianma 2 marks a significant milestone in North Korea's military capabilities. It reflects decades of incremental advancements and a clear intent to achieve greater self-reliance in defense technology. As the Kianma 2 enters service, it stands as a testament to North Korea's evolving military strategy and technological ambitions. That's all for now, see you later.